Hi, this is Heidi with So Heidi. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on doing a live trace of a fabric scan and also I'm going to show you how you can quickly make multiple colorways of that fabric scan uh, using the recolor tool in Illustrator. So what I've done first is I have a scan of my fabric uh, that I'd like to turn into vector artwork what I'm going to do is go to my Object, Live Trace, Tracing Options menu. You may also have a pull down at uh, the top of your window saying Live Trace. You can pull the arrow to the side and go into Tracing Options. Now once you get in here, there's a couple things you're going to want to adjust. First of all is your mode. We don't want to do this as black and white. We want to do it as color. And what I usually do almost right away is turn my preview on. So we'll do that. It's going to give us a preview of how it's going to turn out. Now, right here is where you're going to want to um, put some of your attention at this point in time. It says max colors. Right now it's set to six. And it's not giving us uh, very many details in comparison to how many colors were in the original um, artwork. So we're going to change that. Let's bump that up to 10 and see how that looks. And that looks better, it looks a little closer to the original artwork. Now I'm going to leave the rest of this alone. You can tweak with your path fitting, your minimum area, and your corner angle. Uh, I am going to turn ignore white on. So what this will do is it will ignore all of the elements in the artwork that are exactly pure white. So I've done that and I'm going to say trace. Now it's still a solid um, piece of art and I want it to be vector so I need to expand it. You may have a button up at the top if you don't you just come down here to object expand and you want to expand both the object and the fill hit OK. Now you can see that's turned into vector artwork. Now it's all grouped together so you just need to do object ungroup or uh, command or control shift G. And often you have to do that a couple times because it'll be grouped in multiple layers. So now you can see everything is its own individual piece. Now if you zoom in real close you'll notice a lot of these pieces are not quite white but they're not anything that you really need. So we're going to go through and we're going to clean up some of those. And the quickest way to do it is find one, do select same fill color. And so what it's going to do is it's going to select everything in your artboard that is the same fill color as that unit that you have selected right there. So we'll select all of that, delete it, um, there's another one that's slightly a different shade. Select same fill color, delete. And I'm going to take this really pale gray out too just to clean it up. Select same fill color, delete. So now, oh, we still have got a little bit more in here. Let's take that out. Select same fill color, delete. I think that that gets us to pretty good shape. That does. So, over here, I uh, have already done a little work on this earlier, so I've got pretty much the same artwork as we had over on the left side. Now, what I want to do is I want to figure out how many different colors are in this piece of artwork so that I know how many colors I'm going to need to recolor it. So the quickest, easiest way to do that is select your entire piece of artwork in your swatches menu, click on your new color group button. It looks like a little uh, file folder with a plus sign and we're going to call this original and you'll notice you want to create from selected artwork so what it's going to do is it's going to create a swatch from all the artwork you have selected on your board so there you go there are the colors that are in this artwork now I've already pulled those up to here and what I've done is I've just created a couple new colorways based off of my original colorway that I want to recolor this artwork to um, sometimes I'll try and keep in the same hue and saturation as the original artwork. Sometimes I'll just go, you know, something completely opposite. And sometimes it's just an experiment to see how it works. Now, if you're putting together a collection and you have certain colors that you're working with, obviously you would try and use the colors that are in your color grouping um, to create different colorways. But for now, I've just chosen some random colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these, make a new uh, a new color group and we'll call this bright and I'm going to select these new color group and we'll call this pastel 
Okay, so now we've got our color group saved. The next thing we have to do is we actually have to save the swatch library as an ASE, which is a swatch library uh, file. And we will save this in um, our swatches folder called demo. And that's fine. It's just saying it won't uh, save any swatches that are patterns or gradients, but we don't have any of those, so it doesn't apply to us. So that's saved. Now, I know it's right here, but you do actually have to open it, which is kind of odd, but it's just the way the program works. So there's demo. Okay, so now we've got our different color groupings. So what I'm going to do, I have this as my original artwork. I'm going to make a copy of it, and I'm going to go edit, edit colors, recolor artwork. Now we've got this handy little menu here. Um, it, what it does is it shows you your current color as well as your new color. Uh, and as you click through your color groups on the side, it'll put those into the new um, color positions. And you'll notice we have recolor artwork checked here, which is kind of like a preview button. So let's see how the bright looks. Now it's kind of funky and you can see some of the color positions didn't go exactly where you want them to do. You can manually rearrange your color positions based on where you wanted them to be. Sometimes it's just a matter of playing around. And you literally just drag and drop them into different positions. There's also a button down here you can randomly change color order. So if you want, you just click through real fast, see if you get something that you like. So um, we'll just stick with that one there. We'll say OK and save changes to swatch group bright before closing. No, we don't need to change and save any of the changes. So there's one. We'll just make a copy. Uh, edit. Edit colors, recolor artwork. And this time we want to do our pastel palette. So we click pastel. And let's just uh, randomly go through something until we get one that looks nice. That didn't look too bad. We'll say no. So this is just a way to quickly create different colorways with your uh, pattern um, or your illustration, your drawing, whatever it may be. And you, you can have previously defined color groups. If you didn't previously define color groups or you get into your define uh, recolor artwork menu and you want to mess around with colors that aren't in this palette, you can just double click on here and you can change these colors manually in here. Okay. You can also come to the edit menu as opposed to the assign. And what it does is this is currently your, your pink color. You want to bring it out there. So it lets you do it on a little bit more of a visual level. Uh, there's a bunch of other settings in here that you can play around with, but this is just a quick introduction to the basics of uh, recoloring your artwork in Illustrator. Thank you again uh, for watching SoHeidi.com. I am available for uh, private customized tutoring sessions, um, both online and in person. Uh, get in touch if you're interested. Thank you.